Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, fish and animals of the animal kingdom of all sorts, as well as bacteria, algae, and molds and fungus, and even you wonderful people from TeamLiquid.net. It is the After Hours Gaming League, and I am your host, Day9. In the After Hours Gaming League, we have eight of the top tech companies from all over the world battling it out for a chance to donate $5,000 of my money to charity. That is right. These are employees from these amazing eight companies. And right now, we are in game four between Microsoft and Amazon in the semifinal number one. If Microsoft can win this game number four, they will advance to the finals with an undefeated record if they lose. Well, they still have to lose three more in a row after that, so they're looking quite confident. In the bottom left, from Team Microsoft, you know what he thinks rules? Well, it's cows, because I know reading. Cows rule. From Team Microsoft, the Microsoft Zerg, down on the bottom left. And in the top right, I Meng, I Meng, the Amazon Itasi. Many a toss are up at Amazon. But not many have won today, much to the tragedy of the folks at Team Amazon, who actually are an extremely friendly crowd and have been regularly participating in helping make this league actually get off the ground, so I have to give an air five to you fine folks. We see Ai Meng moving down to the bottom right to do a little bit of scouting. There's a little bit of a turn. Probes have weak ankles. He doesn't want to pivot too sharply before heading all the way back to that right side of the base. Cow's Rule in the bottom left, building himself many a drone, and the really the Microsoft story is a, it's an absolutely lovely one. Microsoft ran an internal team ranking battle to determine who would be the players sent out during the AHGL season and train weekly for these matches, preparing dem strats. Amazon also incredibly strong team in the HGL with that solid 5-2 record. But the real danger spot for Amazon was that though they won a lot of matches in the individual sets, they were very, very close. Only had a tiebreaker of two, which means collectively that team won two more games than they lost. So that put them in the fourth place position to be up against Amazon, or to be up against Microsoft this day. And it's all on I Meng. Cow's Rule has quite a bit of ease on his mind as he's taking his early expand. Because he knows that even if he loses this, Microsoft needs to lose three more in a row to be knocked out. Now we see I Meng sneaking around the backside. <laughs> Trying to make sure that there's no Zerg cannons there that will block an upcoming cannon rush. No, it does look like I Meng doing the usual gateway at front core, helping with that wall off. One gas geyser planted. Probes continuing to be built in the main of the Microsoft Zerg cows rule. The single queen is en route and incoming. A Zergling there as well. And I man getting the chance to see absolutely everything. The bird's eye view that Amazon is getting will be hopefully enough to get him a good judgment call, but right now he is so desperately wanting to be home. But some wishes don't come true, little pro. I man now chrono boosting out that first Zella. Will he be building sentry number one? No, it's a stalker! Interestingly, no gas taken, and oh no, Cow's Rule slips up the ramp! The Microsoft Zerg with a victory lap in the base of the Amazon Itasi. He's seeing everything, and most importantly, sees that absolutely no gas has been mined. This is generally a sign of a big four gate incoming, but what it could mean is that Imeng is just preparing to do a completely regular one gate expand of the style White Raw popularized. Bum, 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 bum. In the bottom left, we see Cow's Rule getting ready to expand the creep with his queen. We also see in the main, another queen about to pop. Here she is, Rawr! hatching out. There's the creep spread already beginning, a very modern tactic. Rather than joining the two bases together with creep, spreading the creep forward to begin earlier attacks. Uh, a, a, a trio of Zerglings trying to get to the front become popular any way they can, but the first three of the boy, boy band of Zerglings are succeeded only by one. But keep in mind, Justin Timberlake did have a successful solo career, so don't get too disappointed yet. As you see, he did try to stop by the female Karak and just say hi. At least that's what he said. Oh, I also have an update for Firefox. I'll just I'll just download that later. <laughs> you see a, a Twilight Council being planted by Ai Meng. Oh, that's interesting. 
Looks like we might be seeing some blink stalkers by Ai Meng. Look at him moving very far forward with that Zealot and Stalker and pulling right back to the Zell Naga Watchtowers. And look, it's had the desired effect. Cow's Rule has indeed thrown down a lot more Zerglings than he'd want. A lot more Zerg, Like, holy cow, Zerglings. If this were a game of Heroes of Might and Magic 2 and the hero unit of Ai Meng approached this pack, it would indeed say Zounds. Now we do see the Zealots retreating back up to the top right. Huff and puff as fast as you can. You can catch me because I didn't run track and field in high school. I Meng trying to get more of his units up to block the front, but he some of those resources on stalkers to begin getting a stalker count nice and high. It's going to be up to the blink stalker micro of I Meng. We see a lot of Zerglings out on the field right now for Cow's Rule. It looks like he's starting to get suspicious. He's building an evolution chamber. This is not just important for that plus one attack upgrade, but also for that Spore Crawler, so that way he can have detection in case there is anything that could go on with the Dark Templar tech. I'll see I Meng building Spine Crawlers. More Spine Crawlers for. Will he get a Spore? We're going to find out right when that evolution chamber goes down, but oh no, it's not Spore Crawlers he needs. It's his mommy. Because there's a giant scary force of stalkers advancing forward. And if this probe gets taken down, on, but we see a lot of spine crawlers and a lot of zerglings getting produced by Cow's Rule. I Meng now catching up in that unit count. He's warping in stalkers in his main base. Those are desperately going to need to catch up to the front. And now we see him sneaking around to the back side. There's the male Karak making some very mating looking noises. I Meng beginning to push with the pylons. Trying to find any little sneaky exit he can pop up and do. Very smart positioning. He can blink up or down if he so needs be and always blink back up to the cliff. It's a very aggressive positioning and we see the positioning of the spine crawlers getting I Meng now on the run. Gonna have to hope to survive the blink stalker count. Now, but there he is pulling down to the low ground. And it's gonna be very difficult for him to be able to sustain this sort of pressure. We also see Cow's Rule trying to get a good amount of creep tumors up to defend and extend that creep forward. It's mobility versus mobility. Can he have enough stalkers up to deal with it? And there the Blink Stalkers are now advancing forward. There's a lot of Zerglings at the front and pulling back those weakened Stalkers. He needs to micro this faster. He's pulling those weakened Stalkers back. And it looks like the Zergling numbers have been reduced. But all the Zerglings were killed off as well. And the units lost out. We see 42 uh, killed off. Wow. Tremendous amount in the units lost. We do see it's a dead even exchange of resources. But the Protoss is slowly pushing farther forward. But oh no! Zerglings counterattacking into the main cow's rule, taking advantage of the fact that all these units were cross map. And it looks like the Amazon Itasi is going to have to basically go all in with this push. The probes in shambles. He's morphing in more stalkers. Microsoft cow's rule. You rule, and he may bring Microsoft to a clean 4-0 victory. What did you get on your SATs, Microsoft? 4-0. You might not get into a good college, but my god, you might be going to the finals of the After Hours Gaming League. And there's Imeng doing a little bit of microing back, trying to get the Stalkers in a good position. Can he use the cost efficiency of those Blink Stalkers to his advantage? He's losing a couple of Stalkers at the front. Pulling back the weakened ones continuously, trying to regain a little bit of shield. He's doing an incredible job microing. But his economy is in absolute shambles. He is not even mining enough gas to be able to support the stalker count that he needs. He has maximum energy on his nexus. A probe. Oh my god, gets manor blocked by the male Karak. I cannot believe the treachery of the indigenous wildlife of Typhon Peaks. Cows rule the Microsofts are going in for the counter. There's nothing here to defend it. There's no rewall in by I Meng. And there they do pop directly up into the main. And oh no, the Amazon Itasi chrono boosting out probes just finished with a warp in of units at the front. More probes falling down. And we do see the stalkers from I Meng trying to get in some position where they can put the pressure on. But the probe count dwindling down to nearly nothing. Cow Rule might be bringing Microsoft to the 4-0 town. He will have fans all around Team Liquid. Team Liquid. Cow's Rule ripping the face off of the Amazon Itasi and Microsoft has done it. With the perfect 4-0, it appears that Microsoft will be advancing to the grand finals of the After Hours Gaming League, which will be broadcast live from Facebook.
on Friday. And who better to cast it live with me than none other than Husky Starcraft. He and I will be doing debt commentary as we once again take a look at the team rankings. The number one ranked team, Microsoft, will be in the finals. Fourth through eighth place here has been eliminated. Who will Microsoft's opponent be? Will it be the tech giant Google with its search engine technology, its AdSense, and its ability to deliver you video? Or will it be Zynga? The people who keep you and everyone you know occupied for mild amounts of time in browser-based games around the world. Find out tomorrow at 8.30 on the After Hours Gaming League. For now, I am Day9. It has been a delightful cast. Find out what happens tomorrow, 8.30 p.m. Pacific, between Google and Zynga in semi-final number two of the After Hours Gaming League. I'm out.